Hello YouTube viewers, welcome back to my next video on VHDL language. After a long time, I am making a next video. So previously, I have made one video. You have seen the video on similar kind of thing. I have made the video on like. Let me check it out. I have forgot. Okay, debouncing circuit. So basically, this this debouncing circuit was used to in basically in toggle switches, right? So that's the reason I have used this. So I have thought that many of them are using right real time applications they are making on the FPGA boards. So here I bring you a Spartan six. Board for you from Numato Labs, which they have developed the board, not they have manufactured, they have developed the board. Actually, manufacturing unit is every Xilinx will be doing, so we, anyone will not else will not be manufacturing, just they will be developing the board. So, development is different part, and manufacturing is a different part. So, let us see what is what we will be going to do, and how this Spartan 6 board looks like, and no matter, no matter what, what else we can do with this board. So, basically, you can able to see here the picture of it Spartan board of Numatos Mimas. It consists of four switches with eight LEDs they have given inbuilt and remaining things I have given as ports. Right, they have two ports like P1 port and here you can able to see there is a P2 port also present. Okay, P2 port and here you can have your P1 port. And this is your power cable. Okay, so for that power cable we have a power regulator. Okay, and there is a VC V out V exist. Okay, negative and positive USB 1 and 2 and 3 they have given everything this is u6 to understand this usb module right to understand usb program to this programmable language so we require this ic okay which converts usb programming to serial programming or something something like that and we have a 12 hertz crystal and this is a jtag you can program it using jtag also now we will be only seeing this usb okay we will be not be considering this jtag programming later if it requires then we will be seeing and these are the pins which are present 40 pins totally we have on each of the ports okay and each of the ports we have 40 pins you can able to see that there are four switches these are the switches sw1 2 3 4 and this is the thing nothing but a diode leds you can able to see okay this is a small ic or something like that so you can able to see the specifications and features right now in your in my screen so signal processing for that it is used and 100 megahertz oscillator cmos oscillator is also present 16 mb flash memory is present so those things they have given to program it actually we require something we have sample codes here we can use 16 cross 2 lcd display by using this so they have already we have a library just you click on it open a new tab it will be going redirecting you to github just download it and just open it see isc we have file i call iscp so just open it just see the code and you can able to dump it the code so push button switch they have already given they have given on led seven segment display they have given 8-bit VGA port they have given audio and stereo audio we have already been this small small modules for you for use it for using it so we will be using a small module that is nothing but your LCD 7 segment display we will be using so how to program how to write our own programs right I have told in my previous videos many programs right so I will take any of one of the program like multiplier multiple we will multiply two values so let us see we will multiply any two values and we will be displaying on seven segment display right seven segment display can display up to nine so we have to use very less values like zero into two or three threes are nine see maximum value is three and three three is nothing but your how many bits i can write in three two bits right two bits i can write three call it means zero 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 one one zero one one combinations i can get so two bit multiplier will design on this module so this series of videos will be divided into parts where you will be learning how to program it actually how to program it that you have to, that will be learning so in this download section you will be having a configuration tool so that need to be downloaded first of all okay basically this file is very important so i am keeping it in desktop this file is very important because you will be uploading a binary file actually you will be getting a binary file after doing the program and then the then that binary file is been uploaded here again okay? so and one more thing is ucf file which they are providing because this ucf file is very important they are already predefined 
between ports they have given and that is a standard input output logic or anything input output logic they have mentioned it and they have kept it and you can able to see that port 1 19th pin port 1 18th pin 17th pin these pins having a pull up register inside it okay they have a pull up register inside it so those things you can able to see see you can, we have totally 40 pins right everything has been mentioned here every pin has been mentioned clearly they have mentioned every pin so you can able to you can use it in a very simple manner okay so in my next video you'll be going to see a small uh, program on LED using blinking of LED using switch nothing but see you can able to see a sample code push button switch okay that we will be saying we will be not using his uh, his program uh, we will be writing our own program actually and then we will be seeing by using pull up resistors okay what is this pull up what is this uh, pull down resistors those things you need to understand if you are not understand we will make a separate video of it because here you comes your embedded part actually embedded part comes here this is all this is all is your digital programming what we have done till now to mix this digital with your any of your component called uh, call a chip then you require it okay so that is the basic thing i hope your projects will become very much easier by seeing this video series okay i'll be me i'll be making this video series in by the name called play with fpga okay every i'll make a playlist called play with fpga there you can find it okay i'll be uploading every videos of it till then stay tuned to my channel if you are new to my channel now just subscribe my channel because you will be getting this kind of videos especially on demand videos also i make on demand videos also I make if you demand any video that I want this guy this thing if I know it then I will be making it surely otherwise I will take some time and I will make it uh, if you like this video how I explain please like that button or if you don't like it just dislike it if you are disliking it now please comment below why you have disliked it because I will be improved in my next video thank you for watching this video till then stay tuned to my channel have a nice day